Hello, Facebook. Julie here. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, once again, we're doing our um, Sunday Bible journaling page and just trying to make sure all my tech is up and correct because <laughs> I am notorious for having my microphone turned off, having, <laughs> you know, doing all kinds of goofy stuff. Um, so if you can hear me, if you can see me, let me know, say hi, say good morning, say happy Sunday. <clears throat> and I will get started. Um, I was thinking about what I wanted to Bible journal um, today. And I'm sure in case you live under a rock, you've probably seen the news and there's some stuff going on. Um, and I, you know, I'm, I'm real sensitive to, um, bad news to, um, drama to those kinds of things. And so when I am just overwhelmed with stuff, I come and pray, I come and do something artistic. And so, um, I'm going to paint this page in my Bible and I'm going to just go ahead and get started. Um, but basic, the essence of this is I just want to, um, lift up the situation over in Ukraine up and um, spend some time in my Bible talking to God. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, and you guys probably know I love sunflowers. <laughs> um, I had them as my main flower in my wedding bouquet. I um, have shared a cute story about when my husband and I were dating, how he went fishing and he saw a wild sunflower and he pressed it and framed it and gave it to me as a gift. And we've been married almost 14 years, and I still have that um, beautiful sunflower that he pressed um, in a frame on my wall. So I love sunflowers. I've always thought they were beautiful. Um, and when I found out that that was the national um, flower for Ukraine, I just thought it would be an awesome opportunity to come in here and um, paint a beautiful sunflower and just lift up, um, you know, the situation that's going on. So um, when I was kind of thinking of which scripture to paint, um, I chose Isaiah 4, or sorry, sorry, Isaiah 2, 4. And it says, um, he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Um, nation shall not lift up sword against nation, nor shall they learn, should they learn war anymore. Um, and the translation I just read is a modern English. Um, I think in the description I did the um, NLT um, but the reason why I picked this scripture is because it talks about a time when, um, you know, there won't be any war anymore and we'll, we're, we'll, the, um, swords and the spears will, will, will literally be melted down and turned into plowshares and pruning hooks. So weapons of war will be turned into weapons of agriculture and of growth and of nourishment, um, and of growing, um, good things. So I just love that. And, um, I just thought that'd be a beautiful scripture to, um, paint over and to, um, kind of pray over and meditate as we create our Bible journaling page. So once again, Isaiah 2, 4, it says, he shall not judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, nor shall they learn war anymore. Um, so I just, like I said, I love that idea of a day when swords and spears won't have a um, use anymore. They will be better used as, you know, things to go out and work the field with. <laughs> um, so anyways, like I said, I'm not trying to get all political. I don't want to jump in here and start a bunch of, um, you know, opinions of, you know, that type of stuff. My time that I want to spend today is just praying for peace, praying for healing. Um, and I'm going to do that by painting a very beautiful sunflower, which is the national flower of Ukraine, which I did not know until I, I saw everybody was like, sunflower, sunflowers. And I'm like, I like sunflowers. Why? What's up with sunflowers? <laughs> and so then, like I said, I um, discovered that they are the national flower of Ukraine. So I'm going to paint mm -hmm. this, um, this beautiful, you know, sunflowers are usually, they can come in many colors, but um, they're known for being this bright, vibrant, yellowish 
orangish color. I'm going to add some golds. And then because the Ukrainian flag is yellow and a nice, beautiful blue, I'm going to paint um, the rest of this blue. Let's see a couple people are on here watching, saying hi. Hope you guys are all having a great weekend. Once again, just kind of coming in here, um, praying over and um, just lifting up, you know, prayers, good vibes, good intention, whatever label you want to put on it. I'm a praying girl. I'm a church going girl, but um, you know, whatever way you use to make the world a more colorful and beautiful and peaceful place, whether it's praying or meditating or a combination of those. Um, I often say for me, creating art in my Bible is my meditation. I heard the saying once that when we pray, we talk to God. When we meditate, God talks to us. Um, and I just love that. And so um, I am meditating as I paint. Um, let me use a little paper towel. I usually have a little piece of paper, like binder paper or printer paper behind my page, but I don't have anything close by. So I'm just going to use this paper towel just as I'm painting the edges. Um, and I'm using watercolor. Once again, I just love this, um, the mental imagery in Isaiah 2, 4. And it says, he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, nor shall they learn of war anymore. So, um, you know, a beautiful image of a time when weapons of war are no longer useful and the best use for that weapon is to be beaten into a, <laughs> you know, way to work the ground, to farm, to work the land. And once again, I am a farm girl and I think that's a pretty beautiful image. Taking, you know, things that we use for destruction now and use them, like I said, to literally grow, to grow things, <laughs> to grow nutrition to grow um, good things out of the ground. So um, once again, not trying to get political, but just sending up some prayers of peace, some prayers of wisdom for those in leadership and definitely praying for peace for those that are living in that land that are kind of going through that. I see my friend Patty is saying good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you're at here. <laughs> it's early afternoon. I think my brain's still stuck in, in morning mode. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and dry this real quick. Um, but like I said, I love sunflowers. They have a special spot in my heart. Um, Patty, you said something hard to something in Facebook. Don't know why. I don't know. I think you got a couple typos in there. And I read things half backwards. Oh, you said yes, it's afternoon. 305. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my brain's still stuck on. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon. <laughs> um, but once again, guys, I just want to use this as a real life, a real time example of, you know, if you're, you know, you watch the news, you see stuff on social media, you talk to friends, whatever. And sometimes we just, you know, we live in a, we live in a, in a time that's hard to live in. We live in a world that's, you know, a challenge and, um, we're bombarded with a lot of news, not very seldom is it good news. Um, but I, like I said, just wanted to take this time today um, and just send up some prayers of peace, some prayers of wise decision making um, for the leadership in that area. And oh, you said, oh, Patty said challenging on Facebook. Yeah, today was, you know, like I said, I've just <laughs> I was trying to get ready and get going and I was fumbling with my links and Maybe there's just something going on in the in the air today, but like I said, I can just I can take that intention of meditating in my Bible and just pray for some peace. Like I said, some wisdoms and discernment, <laughs> um, God's wisdom, not mine, and uh, just prayer for you know the families that are affected by everything that's going on. Um, my kind of closest connection, I actually have a um, pen pal <laughs> that I've actually had since junior high. How weird and random is that? 
I turned 40 last year and I still um, keep in touch <laughs> with a pen pal from Ukraine from junior high. And, you know, when everything was going on, I sent her a message on Facebook just to let her know that, you know, we're praying for her and you know, she, that that country has literally prayers coming at them in all, you know, all directions worldwide. Um, but once again, I am not in a place where I can do that. The, the, the best I can do is jump on here and paint and share some words of encouragement. So you know what? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> once again, the scripture is Isaiah 2, 4, and it says, he shall judge among the nations and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, nor shall they war anymore. Um, I'm actually going to see if I can look up real quick a different translation. Um, I'm a Bible nerd and I love to look at the same scripture um, in different translations and sometimes a different word will, will jump out at me. Um, truth be told, I am such a Bible nerd that I oftentimes will even look up the original Hebrew or Greek <laughs> and look at the root words and... Um, you know, kind of see what context they're used in and in and what other scriptures and whatever other parts of the Bible are they used in. Um, so this is the NLT version. And I like this one a little bit better. I think the verbiage is a little bit easier to understand. It says the Lord will mediate between nations and will settle international disputes. They will hammer their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will no longer fight against nation nor uh, train for war anymore. So once again, I just love that um, imagery, God will mediate. Um, he is the one that, um, you know, can have love and wisdom reign and, um, you know, the best use for weapons will be to beat them into, you know, things used out in the garden. But I love this nice, beautiful, vibrant blue. Once again, I'm using the colors of the Ukrainian flower, uh, Ukrainian flag. <laughs> the sunflower is the national flower. Um, and I've, I've um, Bible journaled um, a sunflower before, just because like I said, it's, it's a flower I love. Um, but I just thought this was so appropriate um, and just wanted to, like I said, kind of put, you know, sometimes we think when stuff happens, a lot of times we think, well, what can I do? You know, you see all the um, efforts, you know, um, fundraisers, and, and those are all wonderful. And if you can contribute, contribute, if you're compelled to do those things. Um, but for me, I paint. <laughs> I pray. I, um, you know, try and connect with God and just send as much good intention um, that direction that I can. And so for me, I'm doing what I do. I'm playing my strengths. And that is to... Um, paint and share a little encouragement. And so for me, that's what I'm doing. Um, I see Patty is sharing another translation. Let me see if I can read it. It says, uh, this is the new American standard and he will judge between the nations and will mediate for many people. And they will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning knives. Nation will not lift up sword against nation and never, and never again will they uh, learn war. So once again, I just think that's beautiful. I, you know, I kind of, when I approach Bible journaling, I kind of um, can kind of tackle it from two sides. One, I can um, already have the scripture in mind and, um, you know, kind of look for a visual inspiration um, based off of that. Or the flip side of that is uh, if I have the scripture ready or if I have a, a image like this. So I, I knew I wanted to do the sunflower. Um, so I looked for different verses that would be you know, would apply to a land that um, isn't at peace or is in war. And so then I kind of do either a word search or maybe if I have a couple devotionals and commentaries and I can kind of look up on the topics. Um, so it, it encourages me to get into my Bible two ways. One, like I said, if I already have the scripture, I can kind of um, spend some time talking um, to God, praying, kind of brainstorming ideas. But then on the flip side of that, if I know, like today, I knew I wanted to paint a sunflower um, in the beautiful colors of the Ukrainian flag, um, but I didn't have, you know, I didn't know exactly what scripture. And so then I get to kind of do a little bit of research and dig into my Bible and look for different scriptures that speak to me. So it, it can go two ways. Um, Patty, I see 
You also posted, it looks like this is the voice. And it says, um, God will decide what's fair among nations and settle disputes among all sorts of people. Meanwhile, they will hammer their swords into sickles and reshape their spears into pruning hooks. One nation will not attack another and they will not practice war anymore. Yes, those are, Patty, I always appreciate you. You are so wonderful. I hear you even do the Amplified. I love you, girl. Um, this, the Amplified says, and he shall judge between the nations and shall not de uh, decide disputes for many people or shall decide disputes for many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, ne neither shall they learn war anymore. So it's just speaking of a time when war won't, won't be a need. There, there will be, have no use for war in our civilization in our world in our space and so you know the swords the spears they will the only use for them will be to be reshaping them into um you know things to go out and and garden with so i just i love that um man i wish that day would come sooner than later um because i'm i love to garden too <laughs> but i'm i'm being a little lighthearted on this i know that um a lot of us either have friends or family, um, or maybe we just have a soft heart and are being impacted by what's going on. Um, and like I said, I don't do a lot of things really well, um, but I can paint and I can encourage. So I'm jumping on here and I'm painting this beautiful sunflower for Ukraine and meditating and praying on a scripture about peace, about, you know, a time when God will be the mediator and there will be no need for war, for invasions, for bombing, for any of those things. So once again, not to be too on my soapbox, but I know that we all are all living in a world with, um, you know, heavy hearts. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, and so, like I said, I can come on here and I can paint a sunflower and share a scripture and you know, I talk to God and meditate to God and let him know what's on my mind. <laughs> All right. I'm going to let this dry just a little bit more and then I'm going to outline um, our page. Um, I have a question for you guys. How many of you guys are actually, I, I get all kinds of messages and it just makes my heart so happy about um, you guys enjoying watching me, but how many of you guys actually paint in your Bibles? Am I like the only one on here that does this or do, are you guys inspired by what I'm doing? And once again, I don't want to say you have to paint in your Bible because I know for a lot of people that makes them uncomfortable just because of um, the reverence for the word of God and I get it. So um, don't feel like I'm trying to peer pressure you, but um, you could also do, you know, just a page in an art journal. You can, one of my favorite things to do is um, just go get an old random book from a thrift store. Doesn't even, I don't, you know, doesn't even matter what the book's about, but now you have this beautiful um, art journal with all kinds of, of wording. And I just love the look of art over words. So once again, you do not have to do any, you know, painting in a Bible if that bothers you. Um, you could do it definitely even in, like I said, just a simple sketch journal, in an art journal, in anything, just to create. It's not where you paint. It's not actually painting in your Bible that holds the value. It's spending time with God. Like I said, I love sunflowers and I have wanted to, I've done a sunflower before. And I just think it's a very beautiful flower. And um, the national flower of Ukraine is <laughs> the sunflower. So I'm like, hey, that worked out perfect. And so, like I said, I did this in the bright yellow and beautiful blue of the Ukrainian flag. And the scripture I picked was about a time of peace, a time where war is no longer needed. And it's a time when God is the one that mediates. And if you guys ever have any questions about anything I'm doing, products that I use, um, you know, um, different mediums, any questions you guys may have, feel free to shoot them my way. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but I did use a little bit of um, metallic paint over, yeah, metallic watercolors over 
the sunflower just to give it a, lex a little extra shimmer. Um, I see Patty says, I'm colored pencil and draw a small version of what you are doing. Oh, perfect, Patty. And Patty, I know you and I belong to the, a couple of the same art groups, um, but if you need, if you want this template, I mean, you're very artistic. And so not to say that you need a sunflower template, but if you do want it, or if anybody wants this, um, just let me know. I'm more than happy to share. Just going to come in here and I'm actually using white acrylic paint to add the highlights. When it comes to watercolor and acrylics, watercolors is a little see-through. That's why it's kind of fun because you can still see the writing through um, the art. But when it comes to like a white highlight, um, the white just doesn't give you much option. So then I will sometimes use acrylic paint, which is just a little, has a little more oomph to it. And so it, it has a little more distinction than, let's say, like gouache or um, some watercolor um, palettes. Like this one even has a white in it. I don't know why. <laughs> That's one of the, the mysteries of life. I don't understand why they include white, but whatever. Um, but I just, anytime I, I want a white highlight um, in a watercolor painting, there's two ways to do it. See how I've left this space right here completely um unpainted and then the white of the page just kind of shows through um but if you want a white highlight like what i'm doing then i would recommend just getting a little bit of white acrylic paint or like a white paint pen i'm gonna just add that on there and add a little bit to my little curly cues but once again guys i know sometimes you know when you got a heavy heart and and we I, I truly believe we weren't designed to be you know bombarded with all the things that we are bombarded with and and it takes a toll on on us and I am the first one to be in that camp um and so sometimes for me like I said um this can be as much prayer for you know the Ukraine country but also for my heart For me, creating is very relaxing, so I can also be relaxed um, as I'm doing this. Patty says, I think I will just do a paint journal and write scripture you're talking about. That is wonderful. Yeah, you can, guys, you can get, I have a half a dozen journals literally within arm, arm reach right now. Um, and you can just get a plain journal. You can even do like a composition book that has the lines on it. It Don't worry about what you're painting. Um, I'm going to hold this up just a little bit so you can see, but can you guys see the words through the paint? Like I said, you can do this in a composition book, in a plain art journal, in a sketch journal. Find an old fun book. Doesn't even matter what what the book's about, what the topic is. Um, just to spend some time creating. Um, that is the important part. It doesn't matter what you do it with, whether it's colored pencil or watercolor or acrylic or oil or whatever. Um, it doesn't matter what type of book you do it in. It's called Bible journaling, but once again, it does not have to be in a Bible. Um, the whole purpose is connecting with your creator. And my, I call that creator God. If you call him, her something different, <laughs> that's fine. Um, but it's just connecting. I'm always a better person when I connect with my creator. And I find the easiest way to do that is by creating in my Bible. But once again, I'm not the boss of you. You can do you can do, what, <laughs> do whatever you want. Um, one fun thing that I've recently started to do is um, I have one of these little stamps that you can get, you know, any office supply store, but it has the dates. And so as I'm Bible journaling, um, just to kind of keep a visual reminder for myself, I have started to come in and stamp the date. So guys, that is my Bible journal entry for today. Um, once again, I just wanted to, I had the idea. I, this has actually been really good for me. I'm going go on a little tangent real quick. Um, it inspires me and it's a discipline that I'm happy I am um, cultivating. And so I know every Sunday I've made a promise to you guys to either, um, you know, show up live or do a pre-recorded page. And so for me, it makes me stay in the headspace of, okay, what do I want to paint on Sunday? What is, you know, what is God talking to my heart about? What are some topics that I can share? Um, what is a visual um, 
image that I can create. Um, so for me, this has been a really good discipline for me as well. But I hope that you guys are, are uh, being inspired. And my desire is that you you get inspired to spend a little bit of time with your creator in whatever way you, you want it. Whether if you're artistic like me and you want to create, if you want to go for a walk, if you want to sit in a quiet room and just quiet your mind. But um, I know that our world needs more prayer. It needs more good energy. It needs more love. Um, and the way that I can do that is once again, coming on here, painting and sharing a little inspiration, a little positivity. Um, and so that's what I'm doing. So once again, guys, I'm going to get off here, but I will read one more time. And I think out of all those translations, I think I like the NLT the best. So once again, this is the New Living Translation um, of um, Isaiah 2, 4. And it says, the Lord will meditate between nations and will settle international disputes. He will hammer their so uh, they will hammer their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will no longer fight against nation nor train for war anymore. So that is my prayer for um, the country of Ukraine, um, for the Ukrainian people. Um, and, um, you know, I know there's a lot of people that even though it's a world away that, you know, maybe you have friends or family. Um, I have one friend that um, actually lived in Kia for six months, which is, I think is so cool. Um, but even if you don't have any direct connections, I know we probably all have a heavy heart. And so um, with that heaviness, we can come spend some time in our Bible, praying to God, and um, once again, praying for the people in the country, anybody affected. So guys, I'm going to get off here. I hope you guys are having a great Sunday fun day. I'm um, just real quick. I'm not making a big announcement, but I am sending out happy mail this month. So if you want some happy mail and you haven't um, signed up already, because I have a little sign up, um, send me a direct message or comment on this post and I'll give you guys the link. It's just me sending a little something out to you in the mail. Um, just to brighten your day. I have a couple a couple different things that I'm sending out. Um, but I, I like to just inspire and make people happy. I know that's kind of silly, but I think that that's my secret superpower. So um, if you want just a little something, something in the mail and um, you haven't signed up for my happy mail already, um, like I said, either shoot me a direct message or just comment in here and I will send you the link and I will send you something to bring a smile to your face. But um, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful weekend and we'll talk to you soon.